Okay, today I have something I want to gripe about a little bit. Maybe not exactly a gripe, but I want to push back on an idea that we drummers seem to be fixated on, and it's resonance. Now, resonance is kind of a tricky term because in the context of a drum, we have several different elements that are ostensibly resonating. We, of course, have the drum heads resonating. We also have, perhaps, the shell resonating in tandem. And then we might also have the hardware resonating. And all of those different components might add up to make the particular character of the drum's sound or its tone. My problem is when drummers start to use the term resonance to be kind of a proxy for sustain. It seems like this is what a lot of people are chasing when they're talking about good drum tone or good drum sounds. They'll talk about a drum having great resonance and what they'll be referring to is sustain. Now, the difference between those two words, I have no problem with that. If people use those two terms interchangeably, that's no problem. But what I do think is kind of strange is this fixation on wanting a drum that has maximum sustain. It is all too common to be at a drum shop or at a gig or around other drummers, have someone hit a drum and go, oh man, listen to that sustain or just like, oh, that drum sings, or oh man, listen, it just goes on forever. And I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing for a drum to continue to resonate or to continue to sustain, but it isn't necessarily a good thing. It's kind of neither here nor there. It's neither good nor bad. It just is. The fact that the note that comes from the drum lasts longer. And it just seems so strange that we've made it the default that if the note lasts longer, it's better. Compare this to any other instrument that can control its sustain and you'll see how ridiculous this is. Imagine a saxophone player or a violinist and listening to them play a whole note or for a couple of measures and it's going, wow, what amazing sustain. They'd go, yeah, that's because I kept blowing into the saxophone or yeah, that's because I kept putting the bow on the strings. Now, if someone can hold a really long note on the saxophone, then that's great, but there isn't anything inherently that makes a whole note better than a half note in the context of any other instrument. And it's actually more ridiculous when you bring it back into the context of the drum set because we can't control our sustain. And there's no way to decide when you hit any element of the kit how long you want that thing to sustain for. Now, a good drummer is certainly thinking about sustain and keeping in mind that sounds like the snare or the kick are going to have a relatively shorter sustain, whereas something like the crash or the ride or other cymbals are going to have a longer sustain. So we do have some crude control over the sustain of what we play, but it's just so strange to determine the value of a drum or how good it sounds overall, just based on how long that note lasts. I was partially inspired to open up this conversation by a fantastic video made by someone named Jim Lull, and I'll link his video down below. He's a guitar player, and he made an excellent video on where the sustain in a guitar comes from. Now, you may agree or disagree with what he finds, but there is one section in the video, and he continues to very, very subtly kind of undermine this fixation with sustain specifically which is very much a thing in the guitar world as much as it is in the drum world. And he does have one quote that I absolutely love. He's not directly trying to attack anyone, but at one point he says, I don't think that much about sustain, but I know a lot of guitar players do. And I can imagine that it would be a bummer if you wanted to play a note this long and your guitar only plays a note for this long. I just love that line and I love it how he subtly just sort of jabs at this kind of crazy idea that you would have a guitar and an amp set up and you would strum a note and you would want it to last a certain length of time and it would just die out before it ever reached that length. And I think there's a similar thought experiment that we can play with the drums. And so if you're still not exactly sure what I'm getting at or if you're not quite convinced by what I'm saying, here's my question. How long do you want your drums to sustain for? If you're someone that goes into a drum shop and hits a drum and hears it go boom and last a really long time and you go, oh, it's amazing. Listen to that beautiful sustain. My question is, how much sustain do you want? Would you want that sustain to last indefinitely? Would you want it to last forever until you put your hand on the drum? Maybe, maybe not, right? So there has to be an upper limit. If more sustain is better, then the logical conclusion of that is that infinite sustain would be best. But of course we know that that's absolutely ridiculous. So ask yourself, how long do you want a tom to ring for? How long do you want your snare to ring for? How long do you want the note of your bass drum to last? And actually through the magic of expansion and compression, I can record these drums and these toms, I'll tell you, uh, do not have a ton of sustain the way that they're set up right now. And uh, I can set them up and record them so that they will sustain for a really long time. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of sustain into these drums and let's see if it's the kind of sound you might want.
So that recording didn't really appeal to me. Maybe it did to you, maybe it didn't. And so it brings me back to this question. How long do you want each element of your kit to sustain for? Now, I promise you, I'm not anti-sustain and I don't think that shorter notes are better, that a drum that rings for a long time is any worse. It just is, it's just a different drum. So contextually, you may want something different for a different situation. You might want a really short sustaining drum or you might want something that rings out for a longer period of time, depending on what kind of music you're playing. Now, someone might say, I want drums that can resonate for as long as possible and then I want to be able to control the sustain by putting gaff tape or moon gel or whatever on the tom. So I want them to have as much possible sustain built into the drum as there can be and then I want to be able to control it because you can't put sustain into a drum, you can only take it out. And that's a decent, that's a fair argument and I'm curious if any of you are in that boat I'm curious, are there any drums you think that are out there on the market that you could set up to be as resonant or as sustaining as possible and the note wouldn't last as long as you want it to last? And I know I'm sort of asking that in a subtly snarky way and I promise I don't mean it to be. I'm, I'm genuinely curious if there are any drums that you think are that way, that there's a drum that you just could not possibly get a note out of it for the length that you want. And then I also wanna know, let me know in the comments, how long do you want that note to be? How long do you want your drums to ring for? Now, just to sort of button up this video and I'd actually love to talk about this concept more. So if uh, any of you are interested, I'm, I'm glad to make more videos on this subject and I'm really curious to hear your opinions as well. So let me know in the comments, but just to kind to button this up, I want to say that I certainly don't think that there aren't major differences between tones of drums and the overall sound of the drum. So I'm definitely interested to hear what a drum sounds like and think of its overall characteristics in regards to resonance, sustain, but I think maybe tone is a better word for me to use about what I'm looking for in a drum because tone captures all of that. It captures resonance, sustain, it captures overtones, it captures all of the harmonics and different frequencies that you're hearing that makes one 12 inch tom sound different than another 12 inch tom, even if they sustain for the exact same amount of time. Okay, so that's my hot take on resonance, sustain, a little bit overrated, a little bit overhyped. Um, but I would genuinely love to know what you think. Let's try and keep it civil in the comments. Let's start a discussion. Feel free to subscribe to this channel if you wish. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.